fight on fellow veterans. But first. In order to make America great and glorious again, I am tonight announcing my candidacy for President of the United States. Former President Trump officially announcing a third run for the White House at a primetime address on Tuesday night. With Republicans now in control of the House, how could this big announcement change the political landscape heading into 2024? And what impact does a special counsel now appointed to investigate President Trump have on all of this? Here to discuss lots of big developments is Arizona Congressman Andy Biggs. Congressman, we always love having you here on the show. And, you know, first off, I I've got to get your thoughts on President Trump's announcement, of course, this week that he's running again. What did you think? Well, uh, you know, Rita, that was probably the, the worst kept secret in the world, but I was very pumped. I'm excited that he's going to go uh, uh, for another term. I think he's going to be successful. And I think what's going to make it so fun is he is such a disruptor of the status quo in Washington, D.C., and we need his, uh, his guidance, his leadership again to fight against the people who are trying to destroy this country. I am so pumped for him, and uh, I was happy to see it. And obviously, you are endorsing him. Were you there at Mar-a-Lago when that happened, or or not? Uh, oddly enough, I was at that uh, it, it, the leadership vote in uh, in the Congress in Washington D.C. Rita. I was going to say, I knew you had a busy day. That was my impression. But you're with him all the way. It sounds like you would endorse him. Yes, absolutely. You know, he's facing, Absolutely. as you talked about, Congressman, a lot of, uh, you know, opposition, and he is a disruptor, as you brought up. And some of the biggest developments certainly happened from Attorney General Merrick Garland. Um, just a few hours ago, he officially named a special counsel to oversee two Trump-related criminal investigations. First, uh, he's looking into the alleged role in the events leading up to January 6th. And now he's also looking at the handling of those government documents. Those are tied to that Mar-a-Lago raid. Uh, I want to get you first to react, but this is this is Garland yesterday, just a few hours ago, making that announcement. Based on recent developments, including the former president's announcement that he is a candidate for president in the next election, and the sitting president's stated intention to be a candidate as well, I have concluded that it is in the public interest to appoint a special counsel. Today, I signed an order appointing Jack Smith to serve as special counsel. The order authorizes him to continue the ongoing investigation into both of the matters that I have just described and to prosecute any federal crimes that may arise from those investigations. And President Trump, Congressman, responded shortly thereafter at Mar-a-Lago. Here it is. This horrendous abuse of power is the latest in a long series of witch hunts. It started a long time ago. I thought the investigation with the document hoax was dying or dead or over, only to find out that the corrupt and highly political Justice Department just appointed a super radical left special counsel, better referred to as a special prosecutor, to start the process all over again. Congressman, what was your reaction, first off, to the fact that Garland did this? I mean, you look at the timing. It comes right after President Trump announces his other run, and it also comes, of course, as the House takes the majority. Uh, I mean, the timing doesn't escape anybody. No, the first thought was, well, of course, this is political. The second thing is that this, this continues on and on. This, he's been investigated and attacked by the federal police state since he came down the uh, escalators in the Trump Tower to announce his initial run in 2016. I, I'm just telling you, Rita, this is absolutely an indication of the corruption and the politicization of the DOJ and the FBI. And Merrick Garland has abused his power and authority again and again. And I was, I was like President Trump. I mean, we just heard they were saying, remember, oh, yeah, there's the nuclear codes are in his in his basement or in his house in Mar-a-Lago. And then you find out uh, none of that stuff's true. And it looks like it was mostly uh, little trinkets and souvenirs and what have you. But they made a big, uh, they put false uh, pictures down to kind of uh, basically excite the American public against President Trump. And when you see that type of thing going on, you say, these guys have gone so far off the edge. 
And that's why we've got whistleblowers coming out telling us that DOJ is rotted at the highest levels. Uh, and they're coming to the Judiciary and Oversight Committees in Congress. And so uh, I, I was outraged by it um, and disgusted. And, you know, we have to do something. We have got to bring this guy in and bring him to answer questions um, and actually move right into impeachment if we can get the support of whoever becomes the Speaker of the House. You, uh, are you talking about, when you say uh, impeachment, are you speaking about Garland? Who are you talking about? Yeah, Merrick Garland, absolutely. Merrick Garland and, uh, and uh, Alejandro Mayorkas. Those are the two that really have abused their power and authority. And, and this is just one more indication that Merrick Garland is not an honest broker. He's, he's, not, a, uh, he's not somebody who's, where justice is blind. This is where justice is, is you're gonna put the scale on against, uh, your thumb on the scale against the, those who are your political opponents. We should be political opponents. They view us as political enemies, and it's time we start fighting back and using every tool we have, Rita. Do many others in Congress agree with you on the GOP side that to push for impeachment with Garland after this? Not enough, not enough, uh, quite frankly. And, and uh, uh, Mr. McCarthy has said that he doesn't want to do any impeachments. He thinks they're too political um, and they're political theater as opposed to really what needs to happen is you have to clean up uh, this mess that's going on so that you can get back to normalization within Congress. Uh, and that's that's one of my pro big problems with uh, Mr. McCarthy is that he has said he doesn't want to do any impeachments. He doesn't, he's willing to do some investigations, but I don't want to do just theater, Rita. I don't want po you know political performance art. I want reality and I want us to go through and clean out people who are corrupt and remove them. Well, there is a lot to talk about. My goodness. Uh, Congressman Andy Biggs, it's so great to have you here on so many important topics today. Thank you so much for joining us on the Saturday morning. Thank you, Rita. Good to be with you as always. Thank you. Always love having you on, Congressman. No crooked, crooked establishment. None of that twisting, twisting the truth. No talking down don't to me. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to think. I trust Newsmax. Newsmax. They don't tell, tell me, me how, how to think. think. They let, let me decide. Newsmax. Real news. For real people.